I'm Shane with Unbiased and On the Fence, and it is Worldwide Regression Week of 2020, and I am so excited. A lot of exciting things are going on right now. I do want to thank everyone, uh, Candace Crawl Goldman, of course, and everyone who participated in making this such a, uh, a wonderful week, despite all the other things that's going on. And uh, you know what? It's exciting times. I'm, I'm really optimistic and, and excited about what we see going on here. Um, in fact, this video that I have here I want to share came from a session with Sherry. Sherry, I love you so much. Thank you so much for the gift that you have and sharing that gift with everyone. Um, so this is sort of my best of the best I had to offer from this year, 2020, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, question one. In a psychedelic or DMT experience, where is it that people are going and what is it that people are seeing in this experience when they see gears and cogs and fractal patterns can you please explain what that is answer it's the mechanics of how reality works it all runs together like a well-oiled machine the small ones are fast the large ones are slower things all work together so is this consciousness it's a representation of how the universe operates. Would this be what scientists refer to as dark matter? Dark matter is like unsold or unclaimed astral property. Space needs the matter that can be molded by thought to create. So it's like the unmanifested potential matter? Yes, and it looks like gray cotton clouds, just unmade matter. So is everything part of what is considered the Logos or Creator? Yes. We're all one. We're all pieces of the Logos? Makes the whole. And that would include this dark matter as well, this unmanifested potential matter? Yes, this represents expansion. Is the Logos the Logos over just our galaxy, over the entire universe, and all the galaxies, or a fractalized Logos? It's all over. It moves down like tears in very different fractions, but they all spread out like 1 becomes 2, becomes 10, becomes 50. Do you understand? Yes. So is there more than one universe? Ha ha. There are multiple universes. There are some that are physical and some that are non-physical. And is there something that all of the universes are part of? Something even grander? Not all of that is. It's expanding. Does it go on forever and ever? It will. It's expanding and expanding and expanding. But to explain, it seems to go on forever and ever already, but it's expanding. Because it's expanding faster than we could ever reach the edge, so to speak? Right. So if I understand this correctly, we have something that has broken off into universes, and within those universes, it's fractalized down to galaxies. And within galaxies, it fractalized down into what we think of as a solar system. And then within a solar system, down into Earth. And then the people, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then there's physical and non-physical counterparts. And the people picture all the things you said inside each person. So that would be like the cells in our body? Everything physical and non-physical and then it goes on infinitely inward like that beyond what we're capable to look or understand and it all works together like a well-oiled machine and that's what people see in their DMT or psychedelic experience for those who's not familiar with the term DMT yes it's a look behind the curtain you see how all moving parts work together everything's connected then and it works together perfectly, and you can't do one thing without another part and another part. So is there something outside our reality, beyond all the galaxies and universes, beyond what we think of as our reality? It's almost like it goes on and on, even into the non-physical areas, but they're really all connected. You say it's outside of because it seems separate, but it's not separate. Well, I was thinking specifically about how some people theorize that perhaps we're living in some sort of simulated reality, so I'm wondering if there's something outside what's been created here that we know as all that there is. Is there something beyond that? There are certainly situations going on, just like you would play a video game with people in a simulation. They have higher selves and oversouls through the same, but still it's all connected 
and all works together. So you that I'm speaking to, are you a higher aspect of everyone on the planet or just of Sherry or what? I would be what she considers to be a super consciousness, like one hand hanging out of a collective, reaching down but part of something else that's all connected. So reaching down from a collective, what is that collective? An ocean of consciousness that connects every living thing, entities alive and not alive, middle, all connected. So how many people are you connected to on this branch coming from the ocean of collective consciousness? I know you like exact numbers, but it's all connected and difficult to put into those kinds of terms. But it's basically like the upper room or space all connected to everyone, which is how some people receive messages from someone way across the universe through the collective consciousness that I'm part of. So thinking in terms of density levels, like is mentioned in the Law of One, where an octave contains seven density levels, what density level are you that I'm speaking to, the superconsciousness? I would say seven, but there are more than seven. Some people think nine, but it, it's really just all interwoven and can't really be numbered. There are ways people section it off, and everyone is right, but it seems to be far greater number than seven or nine. Okay, so when we're thinking down here about the idea of ascension or harvest or evolving our consciousness to a higher level, are you moving with us or are we moving closer to you? I would say you're moving in awareness that is more becoming of what we are, more aware, capable of relating your surroundings and situating them with love, not negativity. So where you're speaking to me from is there duality or not? Duality is observed but not experienced. We help people, entities, to come to more awareness to a bigger part of their selves. So when I think of the teachings and the contact that was made with Ra and the Law of One material, where would Ra be in relationship to you? Was that just another branch reaching out from the consciousness ocean? Yes, with that particular entity. So you're essentially a social memory complex or collective like Ra rather than a single entity, is that correct? Into a smaller branch coming out of the whole to communicate with you right now. So where does our higher self fit into this equation with you being this branch coming off the whole? The higher self is a more aware aspect of each entity. So it's more individualized from where you are right now? Right, but it's still sort of the same principle. It's difficult to understand, I know. So the best way for us to move up in what we think of as harvest or ascension is to broaden our awareness and move our awareness upward? Yes, but all that is happening automatically. So when we think of other humans on the earth that aren't concerned with ascension or expanding their awareness and moving upward, do they automatically move upward with us moving upward? They are and will, for some it's just slower paced. I guess what I'm asking is, are we held back by others or do we move to a higher awareness reality where these people exist in their higher forms since there's really no such thing as linear time? Right. You're not being held up, it's progression at your own rate. But we're creating our own reality, correct? So as we progress, the world progresses around us? Correct. So people will seem the same around us, but they really aren't? Right. They'll be a little different. They'll be more loving and kind. So when we see people we know that seem more loving and kind, that means we actually shift it? Right. Or them, or both. What is the quickest way to progress? To love one another, to work on doing everything in love and patience, but you can't mess it up. Everyone is gonna get there someday, somehow. So is part of it realizing that everyone that we view as separate is really us, living a different awareness? That would be a good start, like really good. So is there a way to help others progress by imagining you are others in meditation or something along those lines? All those things work. That's what people don't realize. Focused, 
thought creates and becomes more powerful with emotions and feeling behind it. Think about it often enough and you will get it. The more emotion and feeling you put into it, the more powerful it is and the more likely it is of happening right away. So just the power of our imagination, feeling what it would feel like to reach a new progressive level where there's no starving, there's plenty and abundance for everyone, just meditating on these thoughts would help bring it about? Yes. Because people imagine driving a new car, but I say why stop there? Why not imagine a whole new world? Exactly, that's beautiful. How far can we go with this imagination? Can I imagine a whole new healthy body with new bones and teeth? All this sort of thing with my physical vessel as well? Let me explain to you the problem with this question you want to ask. Somewhere deep in, down inside, there's a certain amount of doubt or else everything would happen right away. As smaller things happen, you will have more faith, bigger things will happen. Is manifestation happening quicker on the planet right now? Yes. Are there set cycles for things or is everything within our control if we have enough faith? There's definitely a process and stages of things. Just observe and compare people with things like abilities coming online, so there's certainly stages to it. But again, all these can be accomplished through faith. Are there ways to bring about manifestation faster? If I meditate with my imagination, feeling, and emotion, is there anything else that can be added to this to bring it about quicker? Yes, pick the times when you're most happy. Focus at highest vibrational times brings about the fastest manifestation. Is everything in the universe progressing and moving to, into a higher vibration or just Earth? Everything. There are stages and cycles to things and check out points if you want to leave, but everything is working together to advance and bring about evolutionary changes to the planet, Earth, the galaxy, and the entire universe. Is there something energetically happening to the planet right now that's causing more people to get this vibrating in their bodies as they're lying in bed, more out-of-body sorts of experiences? It has to do with the Schumann. People might not understand tiny evolutionary changes in their body, and they misinterpret it as things that are negative or scary. Is this directly connected with our solar system moving through the highly energized galactic plane? Yes, it is. So that's why things are speeding up and the sun is appearing wider and more energized? The sunlight energy is a reflection of the brightness of the entities that inhabit the planet at this time. So the sun will continue to put out more light as we progress? We're actually drawing the energy in? Yes. Is there anything we can do to aid this process or is it just happening naturally? There are things you can do to aid it, but it's happening naturally. You feel like I speak to you in puzzles, but it is like a puzzle. But all the pieces are there, and they're not even mixed up. They're just going together perfectly. Is there a tipping point when we take a big leap, or is there a time we can expect to see great change in the evolution of human consciousness? It's already here. It's just a matter of making it a consensus reality. How many people are needed to make it a consensus reality? It's hard to say a number, but it's very close. It's hard to pin down a time when there is no time, but it's getting closer. Can this generation expect to see this happen? Yes, you're witnessing your Mandela effect speeding up, which is your one name for that, by the way. This is one indicator. Can you share some other indicators? The sun turning whiter is another. People's abilities developing. This is a big one. Can you share some of the abilities we can expect to see coming online? Telepathy would be number one. Mostly they will realize they're manifesting their realities. The vibration that they're putting out is what they're getting back. Telepathy is already coming online, right? Oh yes. This would be directly connected with psychic abilities, right? Yes, same category, same thing. So our intuition is also connected with this then, right? Yes, it's getting stronger too. Is there anything an individual can do to help bring these abilities online? 
meditate, but really and truly they're all coming online for those who are ready. Is there anything I can tell the people that I talk to on the channel to help them through this process along this journey, to remove fear and help things happen faster? Yes, that they need to relax and not take things so seriously. Look for the joy and the bliss. Focus on what they want in their mind. For some, 90% of what they're running in their mind is what they don't want. Shift your thoughts to what you do want. So many people put focus on the conspiracies and the political things. Are any of these helpful or important to sort of keep an eye on? Or are they just distractions? If you notice, a lot of them were there to make people notice the machine nature of reality, the way things work, and to learn early on the way things are used to manipulate things around you. So it's basically to wake us up to the bigger picture but not to get stuck on? Exactly. So it's both then. It can be a distraction, but it can also wake people up. It's a stepping stone. So there is a higher knowledge of knowing you no longer have to pay attention to that stuff. It's all just serving its purpose of waking people up. Yeah. Now I want to say at this point, uh, Sherry popped out of it, and she was super dizzy. The session ended, and um, after performing the closing script, she actually observed a white orb ascending above her head and through out through the ceiling, which I thought was really cool that she it's almost like she saw the connection that was made right there, but she had uh she had to use the restroom so it's it the session ended but as you see, a lot of it was packed with a lot of great information. I absolutely loved it, and uh, I think it was something that a lot of people will resonate with. Um, so I think we're moving into a time where, you know, with these psychic abilities coming online, I noticed in the session itself, uh, in the section that I didn't transcribe, there was a meeting and I was wondering if the meeting was sort of just, you know, just her working through things in her mind. I wasn't to the super consciousness yet. And at one point, one of the participants of the, of the, uh, meeting that she was in, which I was also in the meeting. That's what kind of made me feel like, um, like how can I be doing this session and also be in this meeting that she's having it. But it was like a meeting, meeting of helpers, their higher selves. And at one point when I doubted the meeting, one of the participants said, this meeting told me that through her that this meeting is serious and it really does happen. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. And as you see at another point, the super consciousness, uh, seeing that I wasn't happy with the answer I was given, I felt like it didn't give enough information, said, I know you feel like I speak to you in puzzles. So I can already see this telepathy coming online and, uh, and even within these sessions. So I want to encourage anybody that wants to learn how to do this BQH to uh, check in the description box below and you can um, take the course completely online and begin to do sessions, at least with your friends and family. It's a nice tool to have in your toolbox, so to speak. And uh, for those who have had sessions, maybe they didn't work out to try a different practitioner or to give it another shot because I had a very successful one. I had another one that wasn't successful. So each one is different. And I think it just really depends on where you're at with it. But don't give up with it because a lot of information can come through. And uh, while this was sort of for the general, I, this session was purposely for uh, you guys on the channel here. I wanted to get information and questions answered to present on this channel, but uh, you can get information, you know, for your specific uh, life and, and things that you might want to do, questions you have, um, individual sessions, individuals questions, and not questions for the whole. So I want to encourage you guys to, uh, to recognize all of these things are happening. We're in the middle of this shift, as we call it. It's already happening. You can see it with things like the Mandela effect, the sun changing, into a much brighter, wider color. And uh, so with that, I'll leave you guys lots of love and light, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Be sure to check out the website at uotf.net. There you will find the live stream schedule displayed in your local time right there on the front page. Below that, you'll find links to take the Beyond Quantum Healing course at a discounted rate, Purchase our book, Mandela Effect, Friend or Foe, in paperback or ebook, or to contact me to schedule a BQH session. 
At the top of the site, you'll find links to help support the work I do, access the free private forum where you can discuss organizing get-togethers in your area, Mandela effects, and more. Thank you all so much for being here. Mm-hmm.